Yeah. Good morning everybody, welcome to Sunrise Way. Today we are at a freehold inter-terrace. If you are a freehold landed lover and you want to buy in at a quantum of below $3.7 million, a sizable land plot of 1905 square feet, you're really gonna wanna check this out. Your intuition, just wanna follow intuition. All my senses tell me I know what you've been thinking. I know. I've been feeling, what if we got up left this party? Cause I can see you probably gonna be scrolling fiends all night long First, let me tell you a little bit more about this land plot Sized at 1905 square feet It is actually housing a 2 stories inter-terrace home The plot width is 6.9 meters And is actually 29 meters long It is a little bit of a parallelogram shaped And our main door facing is actually towards northeast Now this is extremely rare in today's market According to the BCA regulations The minimum land plot for an inter-terrace is actually at 1605 square feet which means that many landed homes today are of a smaller size. Now, why is this land plot also extremely unique? Let me take you to the back to show you a little bit more. This land plot is really unique because you can see behind me, we're actually facing a park. Now, what is so unique about an inter-terrace that actually faces park or greenery is that a single loading inter-terrace is extremely hard to come by in today's market. Usually, you will be facing either towards, you know, your neighbor's backyard or your neighbor's kitchen, but for an inter-terrace to actually face towards this such greenery is extremely rare. And the parks are actually maintained by end parks, so you don't have to worry about excessive foliage or anything like that. Now, you will notice that there is no 2 meter setback, which gives you a lot of space to use the backyard for any of you and your family's needs. Now, I think if you are someone that loves the nature, you love the quiet, this is actually perfect for you. Now, we are a two-storey inter-terrace. So on level one, you do have your living, dining, your helper's room and your bathroom and your indoor kitchen and outdoor kitchen as well. On level two, we do have three bedrooms as well as one common bathroom. Because we are sitting on a three-storey mixed landed zoning, what that means is that you do have a potential to build this up all the way to 3.5 storeys. So let me take you to the living and dining where we'll explore a little bit more about the interior as well as some renovation ideas. Alright, so before we enter the interior of the home, if you were to just turn your eyes towards this area, you would see that we are actually able to accommodate up to two cars in this car porch area. Of course, our owners have also done up this beautiful greenery area here. They also do have a little fountain there as well. So if you have green fingers, then I think this is just perfect for you. Someone just tell me why I do shit. If you would like to enjoy all these natural light into your unit, one thing that you can do is actually to open up this area and install full glass sliding doors. I think that will allow a lot of natural light into your unit, which is just perfect if you're someone that loves to, you know, host or enjoy a lot of natural light in your own home. Someone tell me what I need my life, keep you warm and nice. Coming to the unit itself, you will know that we are 6.9 meters wide, which means that we do have a very good size for our living area. Now, in this area, of course, our owners do have some cabinetry as well as some display paintings and display ornaments. On the other side of the home is where they currently lounge and watch TV. So you do have your sofa sets, a little dining set, as well as your TV console. There are no odd shapes in this area, and if you would notice, there are also no built-ins, which means that you know when you come in, basically if you're looking at some light renovation, just a full repaint and this area is perfect for you to customize. Now, if you were to look behind me, you will realize that we actually do have a split level living and dining kind of situation here. I think an idea for you is that if you love to host or if you have your family and friends over on the weekends, then what is perfect is that actually your living space and your dining space, although being segregated by this split level dining, which gives a sense of space for you and your friends and family, what happens is that you are also able to look at your children, you know, see what they're playing. You're able to have conversations across the rooms as well, which I think is so important in the home. Now, this dining area is actually able to accommodate up to a six-seater dining now. If you wish, you can also put a circular dining table and host even up to eight people. Now,
Now our unit is asking at 3.65 million for 1905 square feet of land as well as 2,800 square feet of build-up. This brings our PSF to below the 2,000 PSF mark where we are at a sweet spot of 1916 PSF. Now at Property Limb Brothers, we always talk about the four categories of landed homes. Category 1, which is for teardown and rebuild. Category 2, which is suitable for gut renovation or a and a Category 3, which is slightly newer, just in need of some light touch-up works. As well as Category 4, which is a brand new home. Now for our unit, we're actually a Category 2 home, but you do have the potential to do a gut renovation or a complete a and or to rebuild to its full GFA. Now you might be wondering, why should I buy into a Category 2 home for $3.65 million when I could be buying into a brand new home in District 28 for $5 million? Now there are two core strategies that investors actually use when they are choosing to buy a Category 2 home instead of a brand new home in today's market. Now the first strategy that investors use is actually called a pivot home strategy. Like the name suggests, a pivot home strategy means that you buy this first home at a lower quantum and you use it as a pivot into a further and greater investment. Now how does that work? Let's compare between a 3.65 million inter-terrace in today's market vis-a-vis -a, -vis a 5 million brand new freehold inter-terrace in District 28. Now comparing the two, if you were to buy in at 3.65 million today and you actually just you know ride with the market, ride with the transactions and you let the surrounding properties appreciate, naturally your unit will continue to appreciate as well. Perhaps you pump in a little bit about two to 300k in terms of renovation, this will also boost your value in the future when you want to sell. Now if you were to imagine with me a 300 PSF increment will actually translate to this unit being 4.2 million dollars and the 5 million dollars entry price to be $5.55 million in the future. Now, if you were a buyer, maybe, you know, this 300 PSF happens in the next um, two to three years. And now, two to three years later, as a buyer, which of these units would be more palatable? Now, would it be a 4.2 million freehold inter-terrace or an inter-terrace that is newer at $5.5 million? Now, of course, there is an audience market for both, but being priced at $4.2 million, what that means for you as a seller two to three years down the road is that you will naturally have a wider audience group that is able to afford this quantum instead of at $5.5 million and up. Alright, welcome to the kitchen area. So if you were to step in, you will realise that we do have a dry kitchen as well as a wet kitchen. So here is your dry kitchen where you are able to do any kind of baking, hosting or light dishes and you are able to bring it out to the dining room very easily. And if you were to head out here, it's actually your wet kitchen area. So of course our owners are actually using this space for their wet kitchen as well as their laundry area. What I would love to do is actually make this area my secondary dining space so I can host my friends here or a long dining table just to enjoy with my family. Now in this wet kitchen area, you also do have your granny's room as well as a bathroom. Uh, now the bathroom is not attached to the granny's room, so what that means is that your guests are actually able to use the common bathroom on level 1 here as well. Now let's head back into the unit itself and let me share with you the second investment strategy for buying into a $4 million freehold into terrace in today's market. So earlier we talked about the pivot home strategy. Now a second strategy that investors love to use when buying a lower quantum landed home instead of a higher quantum landed home is actually to keep their monthly mortgage low and also to open up to a world of choices and opportunities. Now freehold inter terraces in today's market is getting harder and harder to find. So to enter at this 3.7 million quantum may not be possible a few years down the road. So buying into this unit at 3.65 million dollars today, it means that you do have a plethora of options while keeping your monthly mortgage low. Now first, you know, if this unit is actually already suitable for your family, uh, you are able to use the three bedrooms upstairs, you just want to pump in a little bit of light renovation at $300,000, then you are still able to keep your quantum low. Second option, you can actually do a full gut renovation. Uh, this will bring your cost up to about $450,000. So if there's an option for you, you are able to do a gut renovation for level one and level two all together. So of course, the secret here is that if you do not wish to pump in this renovation cost at this point in time, 
and you still want to buy into a freehold into tariffs below the $3.7 million mark, then what this means is that you are able to buy it in, stay with your family and later, when the property has appreciated, you are able to use the equity facilities to all take a rebuilding loan to do a full A&A or a rebuilding sometime in the future. So by creating a lower commitment for yourself at this point in time, it means that 5 to 8 years later, you still have options to decide from. Would you wish to keep this landed? Would you wish to do a full guard renovation? Or would you wish to just sell it off in the future? These are all options that are possible for you by entering at a lower quantum today. Alright, now let's head up to explore the second level of this home housing three bedrooms as well as one common bathroom. I'll be there at the after party Show up looking like a zombie It don't matter, nobody stop me I'll be there, just tell me Stepping into this room itself What I would do with this room is of course I think I'll do a complete teardown of the shelving um, as well as the wardrobe over here What I will do is actually open up a lot more space in this area what you can potentially do is two options. Number one, you are able to put your queen size bed this way. If not, I think this uh, current orientation of having one single bed right here in the corner is actually already perfect. Having this single bed allows you to then have a study area here where you are then fronting towards the greenery. Now, a very unique part about this room is actually how it connects to this balcony here, which was done up by our owners 10 years ago. So stepping into the balcony, you'll see that we have a really good size uh, balcony here that is fronting towards our neighbor's home. What that means is that it's actually pretty peaceful. What I will opt to do is I will use this as a secondary hosting space for my friends, you know, in the evenings just for some drinks and food. Before we explore the master bedroom, in terms of connectivity, we are a mere 4 minutes away from the CTE Expressway. In terms of public transport, we are about an 8 to 10 minute walk away from Yochukang Road, where there are two bus stops located, which will then take us to Yochukang MRT. For primary schools within 2km, we have Mayflower Primary School, Jingshan Primary School and Anderson Primary School, all within a 10 minute drive away. For other higher educational institutions, Anderson Serangoon Junior College is 8 minutes away and Nanyang Polytechnic is a 6 minutes drive away. For your shopping needs within a 10 minute drive, we do have Greenwich V, the Salita Mall as well as Buangkok Square Mall. Now if you are a foodie like me, then you will know that Chom Chom Food Centre as well as the Jalan Kayu Supper Stretch is just a stone's throw away. So if you love food, then that's perfect for you. Alright, now with the second common room, you can see what I've already described in the first room where your bed is actually oriented this way which then allows you to put your study table on the other side. So if you're looking at keeping your renovation costs below $300,000, what you will notice is that this room actually does not have any built-in furniture. So what that means is that, you know, it's actually a blank slate when the owners hand over the unit. You do have the option then to customise this room to your needs. With the bright windows that bring a lot of light in, there are plenty of options for this room. Alright, now let's check out the master bedroom. Stepping into the master bedroom, the first thing you will notice is that it's a really sizable master bedroom. So what happens is that you will notice that we do have a king size bed over here and still plenty of space for two table consoles. So turning your attention to this side of the master bedroom, you will see that we do have a full height wardrobe cabinetry here. You are able to tear down and rebuild. I think you can customize this space to however that you need it. But what you will notice is that the windows over here um, also do face towards the greenery. It's that same part facing that we were talking about. And what this means is that you effectively have no neighbors looking into your master bedroom itself, which I think is so important for a home. Again, if you are a lover of natural light and you're looking for renovation ideas, what we can suggest is actually to do a full height windows, floor to ceiling, which will then allow plenty of natural light in. And this is only possible because you do not have neighbours that are looking directly into your master bedroom unit. So of course, behind me is your master ensuite, and then outside in the common area, you do have one more common bath for the two common rooms to share on this level. Thank you for exploring this $3.6 million, 1,905 square feet 
freehold into Terrace with me today. For me, this unit is full of promise and options. If you are looking at a pivot home strategy or if you are looking to keep your monthly commitment low while going to this wave of freehold into terraces below $4 million, then I think this unit is one that you do not want to miss out on. If you are intrigued by this unit, then please do not hesitate to give me or Alan, my listing manager, a call and we'll be happy to schedule a physical viewing for you. Now, if you like today's home tour video, then do give this video a like and subscribe. Follow us on all our social media platforms, Facebook, Instagram, TikTok and so many more and we'll see you on our next video. As usual, my name is Grace, Property Limb Brothers, always happy to show you the place. So a uh, renovation idea I do have is to <laughs> put more cats in the house. This renovation idea is less than 300k but can give you a lot of happiness. Uh, before such a unit type is no longer available in the market.